I was in a taxi the other day and the taxi driver asked me, can I put some music on? I said, of course. He said, kiss? I said, well, let's put the music on first and then see how we feel. Ah, welcome to Shave and Butcher New Soap today. It is Dave from Lothur, Lothur uh, with the secret symbol on it. First time to try this one out. That's what it looks like poured. Beautiful. And a lovely scent as well. Fantastic. So, um, I was going to shave this morning, I was going to shave outside, but then work happened and other stuff happened and uh, I'm in, indoors so I don't have time to prep for outside. But I really want to try this soap today, so I'm going to do it and we'll try not to stress, because this should be peaceful and nice. The brush is Paladin's Winston, 28 millimeter. Um, badger thing with a pretty cool handle but of course the light in here is so poor you can't you can barely see so we're going to destroy this beautiful surface so Dave Dave is um, is or was oops ooh that's soft shit okay hi uh, ooh yep overloaded already that ah, boy that is soft you know it's so damn warm I think that's it. So I just jammed the, the knot into the soap and that was it. It's so warm and it's been, not in the sun, but it's been in a warmish place. Wow, never had that before. It's 32 or something, which for, by Swedish standards is, is very warm, especially if it's in the sun. Cool, I hope I didn't ruin the soap. So this will be special. At least I think I had enough. Let's see. Otherwise, we'll uh, we'll put more on. But I, I don't want to overload unnecessarily. <laughs> that's, that's quite funny. What do we have? What do we have? Yeah, I think we're good. Otherwise, we'll put some more on. It's like a soft cream. Incredible. And that's not the way it usually is. I may need to put it in the fridge for a while funny or not but anyway Dave was was or is I'm sorry I should have huh Johnny the maker's father so this is a tribute to him and he was um, hang on we need to know just read the stuff <laughs> The inspiration behind Dave comes from our founder's father, David, a great source of inspiration at Lothar. This was a man, was a man who was seldom found without a cup of, cup of the good stuff in hand, English breakfast tea, and was rarely seen out of his sacred space, the back garden. David grew giant lilies, creeping jasmine, tall sweet peas and vibrant iris flowers so the scent is, is very much inspired by Dave's back garden uh, I want to mention as well that five percent of the profits at Lothar go directly to an organization called calm um, oh, cam the campaign against living miserably. So it's a suicide prevention, men's health initiative, which uh, Lothar support. Um, and I believe this is a topic close to heart for, uh, for, for Jonathan, Johnny, the maker. But the scent notes on this is, uh, is you know, more or less as described. It opens up uh, with citrus and fruits and stuff like that and it's supposed to, to smell like Darjeeling is that how you pronounce it so a black tea um, you've you've had it I'm sure then comes uh, jasmine and um, 
Assam, which is uh, which is a region in India, is it Bangladesh? No, it's India. <laughs> but it's also a kind of tea, or a sort of teas, which is more powerful, more malty, and and a bit of the iris, which we had from from Dave's back garden. So an, a, a, an absolutely lovely scent. The scent strength is is not strong. It's quite low actually. Um, the reason why the scent strength is is quite low. Well, there's a few reasons. I asked Jonathan. The, the main reason, if I understood him correctly, is that he doesn't use perfumes, or at least not a lot. Maybe not at all. He uses essential oils to create the fragrance, much like the Swedish artisans that I know. And you won't get a, super, a very strong scent when you do that. But then also, you know, he he, he likes it that this way. It's it's not a it's not a problem. It's well appreciated. Well, in Europe. <laughs> mostly but of course north americans are used to stronger st you know more powerful uh, scents so that is what it is so most north americans apart from nate maybe uh, prefer stronger scents than what you typically get out of an artisan soap in europe where where it's essential oils that, that bring the, the scent. But it is lovely and it's sophisticated, the scent. It's very enjoyable. And it's a damn good soap as well. So, And it, it even tastes quite okay. I've been tasting quite a lot of Lothar for, for, for some reason. I've used it on camera quite a lot. <laughs> I keep talking. There you go, we're getting there. So I did have enough. Fancy that. I'm going to put it in the fridge and, and see what happens just to make sure I didn't ruin it. Well, in terms of lathering, and this is wet like crazy, crazy wet. Perfect. It's not ruined from that perspective. This is, this is really on the wet side and I'm sweating a lot through the lather. So this is going to be pretty, pretty wet. But that's the way we like it, baby. That's the way we like it, baby. I don't want to live forever. Ding, 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 ding. A Japanese racer with Swedish steel. This is Baba. God, the light is poor. Baba used it the other day, freshly honed. Pretty perfect. It's, oh, it's so good, this racer. And so is the soap. I mean, this soap has uh, so much good stuff in it. It's, it's incredible. Really enjoy it. It's the fourth Lothar soap that I try fourth and last one there are only four so I hope there will be more I haven't asked John about that and I wonder what my favorite is I haven't thought about that I will um, in a few weeks time when I'm when I'm back in my normal house so I'll compare the, the scent on all of them. This is nice. Juice was nice. Cheers was great. Calm was the first one I used. It's bloody brilliant. There you go. When you can just flick the lather off, to get the right moisture content for me.
So British Open is on TV. And soon, a few minutes, practice for Formula One at Silverstone will be on TV. It's Shaven Butcher Jr. who is Master of Ceremony. Swedes aren't doing very well in British Open, which is... Well, two of them look like they're going to make the cut, but just barely. Stenson and Noreen are pretty far away, so... That's too bad. That's too bad. It's, it's, I enjoy watching British Open more when there are Swedes there. I watch a bit anyway, but you know... And you know British Open is the Open. You know that, right? <sighs> when it's warm like this, it's not the perfect condition for, for shaving. And the skin is just... The skin's a bit annoyed, you know, because it's been oh, suffering all day. I've been outdoors quite a bit. You know, not really working out, just outdoors and, you know, you'll laugh. The temperature we have and, and, and we complain. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying it's incredibly warm and I'm sweating and we're, my body's not used to it. I would not prefer cold and rain, but, you know, weather. Scandinavians and British people are, we can complain about anything in the weather. Okay, against the grain. Also, I didn't prep for the shave. I didn't wash the face and put lotion on and pamper it. It's just straight, straight to the point. But when you have a good soap and you lather properly, that is pre-shave routine enough usually. Okay, super dry fingers. Let's see if this works. It's slipping, but it might work. Oh. So it's too early because it's not evening, but there will be a beer later on. It's going to be Grolsch, uh, Dutch beer. I prefer ales, not IPAs, but, but other ales, more bitters, or the or the massive uh, monk brewed beers in Belgium, depending on the mood. But it's too warm for that now. I mean, I can drink it if someone puts a gun to my head, but it is too warm, so I, I want a refreshing lager. And then when it comes to those, I have two favorites. Rolsch from the Netherlands and Jever from Germany are my favorite lager beers. Now we're doing okay. We're doing okay. So I'm looking forward to that, but not too early. Not to worry, even on a Friday. I was thinking maybe I should do another live, YouTube live. I've only done one. What do you think? I, I won't be offended if you don't say yes. I'm just curious. Sweat is pouring. It really doesn't help the shave 
<laughs> the lather is holding up. It's unbelievable that it actually is because there's a lot of water underneath. It's a, it's, a, it's a test. We have a, a bit of air conditioning. It's like the heater uh, that you can turn, turn on to cool. So if you sit just in front of it, it's one of those simple ones that just blow hot air or cold air. So if you sit in front of that, it's kind of nice. It's like, like a big fan and it does reduce temperature a bit. But up here, there's nothing. So I got sun and <laughs> I was horrifically warm. Oh, maybe I should have done it outdoors. It's warmer, but no, it's about the same actually. Very cool. So I'm gonna look good on the Friday. I'll make sure I smell good too. Got the perfect aftershave for that. And it is, it's wet now, but number one from Singari Man, recovery splash. That's such a good expression because I haven't studied the contents, but I, I guess it's a, it's a, well, aftershave splash slash liquid balm, right? And there are a few of those, but Hetta calls it recovery splash, which is bloody brilliant. Just recovery, just brings it back to, to whatever, you know, you recover from the brutal treatment from the razor. It's very nice, I like it. Okay, let's see how we did. We did pretty well in spite of it being 30 odd degrees in here. It's really warm. Well, what can you do when you want to shave, right? You shave. Really good. And this post shave feeling is, well, not now, but usually I have tried it before. This soap base. Post shave is fantastic. So it's Friday, weekend is coming. I hope you're gonna do something nice during the weekend. What are you gonna do during the weekend? Are you going to do something nice? Tell us, okay. Recovery splash number one, Singari man, good shake. And just the face, because I did the head this morning with coconut and nanas from Singari Man. And that just goes and we're good and we're smelling nice. Cool. Have a great weekend. Um, let me know what you're up to. If it's not too dirty and uh, and if you don't mind. Uh, I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? Hang out on the beach, I think, primarily. Maybe drink one more of those Hrolsch beers from Holland. Thanks for watching. Sayonara, see you soon. and. Stay sharp.